Hello, my name is Derek Baxter. I'm an app developer out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. And today we're going to build on our first tutorial in which we created a menu system and we created some buttons that would take you to the level two scene and level one scene. But in this tutorial, we're going to add a score to our game. What fun is a game without a score? So in level one, I've added a button that says add point and it adds a point to our score. So I click back and as you can see, my score is 30. All right, so let's jump right into it. If you haven't watched the first tutorial, I suggest you go back and watch that first tutorial. So the first thing I want to do is on my main scene, I want to grab the label.ttf and drag it here. And the text on that label, I'm just going to type in something dummy, some dummy text here, score zero, increase the font, and I'm going to align it to the right. There we go. So I've created a label here. And what good is a label without any connections? So we have to programmatically, programmatically assign a value to that field there. So I'm just going to call this field here score label. All right. So we're going to do the exact same thing on level one scene because when they're playing level one, they want to see their score. So I'm going to drag another label here over to the side and I'm going to change the dummy text to score one. I'm going to increase the font and align it to the right. So there we go. And in the connections, we're going to call this one score label. All right. So we have to add the button now that adds a point to that label. So I'm going to simply go over here, drag a button. And on the label of that button, I'm going to call it add point. And what's a button without a connector? Well, it's a non-functioning button. So let's add a connector here. And the selector for this button is add point. So Xcode will receive that add point command. And it'll add a point to our score. All right. So I think that's everything that we need to do in Sprite Builder. Let's click Publish, and we'll click Save All. All right, so let's go back to our Xcode program. Now the first thing we're going to do is we want to create a, an integer called score. So the way that we do that is we type in var score equals int sorry, it's not equals, score colon int equals zero. So the score is an integer that equals zero is basically what's that, what that is saying. So we're going to create another variable inside our class that is the score label. And we're just going to identify that as a cc label.ttf. Now the third thing that we want to do, of course, is create a function. Much like our back button function here, it's going to add a point to our score. So function add point. And what do we want that button to do? Well, we want it to add one point to the score. So I'm just going to use the long form of this command, score plus one. And that's just so you can see what's actually happening. Score. So when the button is pressed also, we want to update that label. So we're going to type in the code to update that label equals ns string. 
format. And this is where we type in our text. This is exactly what the label is going to display. And for that percentage integer sign, it'll be replaced by the score, S-C-O-R-E. Great. And it's going to, sorry, must be thinking about something else here. And it's going to display it as a string. There we go. So basically what we're going to do is our score label is going to update with an NS string called score and then it's going to take the value of that integer which is in this case zero and it's simply going to update that uh, that score there. All right so let's take a look to see that this works. So I had an error there because I forgot the um, exclamation mark right after the cclabel.ttf. So don't forget that exclamation mark. All right, so let's run it and take a look. Right now, this is not complete. Basically, the add point is going to add a point, and it's going to display as a string. So let's take a look to see what we've done. So add point there. It seems to work perfectly, but when you go back to the main screen, which is the main scene, there is no score. And then when I go back to level one, you notice that the score is not updated. So that's two things that we need to fix. And luckily, they're both very quick fixes. All right, since we're in the level one dot Swift uh, file, I want to create another function here. And this function will be called did load from CCB. So every time the program or your game loads from the CCB, it will call this function. And all I'm going to do is just copy this code here and paste it within this function here. So there we go. Every time the program loads or your game loads, it's going to display this string again. All right, so that should solve the problem of when I click into level one, it'll now display the current score. Current score is zero. Score six. I'm going to go back and I'm going to go into level one. So as you can see, it now displayed the current score, whereas before it was displaying a score of zero. It wasn't updating that text. All right. So when I click back, now we still see score zero, so we want to fix that as well. And as you can imagine, that is a very easy fix as well. We're simply going to copy this function and we're going to paste it in here. So we paste that function. All right, so it doesn't know or there is no previous establishment or use of the score label. So we're going to actually add that score label. And if you remember from the last time, it was cclabel.ttf. There we go. So now we have that uh, score label established. And we should be able to run it. And of course, the code should work fine. So let's take a look. Oops, something happened here. Let's just quickly see where we've gone wrong. And of course, I keep forgetting that exclamation mark. Don't forget that exclamation mark. Let's run it again. Now I go into level one. I press shoot or add point. I go back and you can see that my score is still 10. I go back to the main level, level one, and my score is still 10. I could add more and rack up the points. 
go back, it'll remember my score as being 20. I hope this tutorial has helped you create some games and be sure to subscribe and like and comment on this video if it helped you. Thank you very much.